uh, which leads me to the us to the next question about how you started to put together and compile your list of programs because as we've stated there's almost 50 right. endo programs uh throughout the country and they're they're in different places of course but they have different missions different purposes different goals core values as well so share with us how you put together your list of endo programs that you wanted to apply to and attend so I applied for two cycles. My first cycle, I was a, a third year in dental school. So that was a much smaller list that I had looked at just a few schools, kind of wanting to go back closer to the East Coast where I was from and a few here um, in the Midwest that was close to school. So I just applied to seven programs and looking for ones that would possibly take somebody right out of school with no uh, general practice experience. Um, so that was the first time. And then for the second one, which was this application cycle, I definitely broadened it a lot more. I applied to 19 schools. I did a, as much as, as in-depth as you can find on each of these programs about who needs a one, if they need a GPR, a GD, that kind of fell out of my list because I knew I was going to be working private practice. So who was okay with that? Um, if there was any other requirements. Um, so you have to look at that. And then I also kind of looked at cost of living. So it kind of also, that kind of took away some areas of the country that are more expensive. So it kind of looking at that and what I could afford also for school. And then also the ADAT. Any, I didn't decide not to take the ADAT, which is a test a few more, uh, more and more schools are kind of asking for. So that also took, about for me, eight schools out of my list that I could apply to. So you have to look at all these different factors of like what you want and versus what the schools are requesting from you. And then if you think it's a good fit, then that's kind of how I put my list together. And, and, and keep in mind, that's a good point that how you put the, your list together, is not the right way. It's not the wrong way. It was just your way. Right. Based on the things that were important to you based on uh, the cost of living, the locations of where the schools and where the programs were. Do I have to take an ADAT, take another exam, right? You guys want to take another exam, right? <laughs> <laughs> Some people don't. So that's, that can be a uh, decision. And then you also have programs that will differ on who they're wanting to train as far as those that have experience or those that have dental school experience only, maybe have not done a GPR or HD or haven't worked for a year or two. Um, all of those factors, like you mentioned, Doc, are, are going to be different. And um, depending on where you are in your journey and your application side uh, cycle will de determine which of those programs you're going to you know, add to your list. Uh, I will also add that many candidates like yourself as far as determining what programs that they want to go to, we'll also do a thing that's very important. And we got we guys were giving you a bonus tip before we even get to the tips, which is going to visit the program. Again, going to visit the program. It has a multitude of effects, uh, not only for your application to help you make a decision whether or not this program is for you, but also you getting a chance and an opportunity to meet individuals in the program so that when they see your application, they're like, oh, Dr. Christine. Oh, so you're Dr. Christina. Yeah, she came last summer. Or, oh, she did a research or she knows so-and-so in the program. And we we met her at the AAA meeting. It's another thing you got to do, but we'll talk about that later. But Another reason and a way to help you put together your list of schools, your list of programs by going to visit the program. So let's put a pin in that because that's very important as well. Uh, additionally, important is once you've submitted your application, then you're wait, you're going to be waiting <laughs> to hear and getting an invitation for interviews. Right. And uh if you guys did not know, ENDO is one of the programs, specialty programs that 
does not participate in match. Doesn't participate in match, which means they have not only will they have early interviews, early meaning in the first part of the of this whole cycle of the year, early as in June and July, maybe some August. But guess what? By August, they're done. So you have to be ready for the next phase, which is the interview phase. Next assignment is go to the next video. Go to the next video right now. Go, go, go. Love, peace, and smiles. Go to the next video. Go to the next video.